Welcome back to Live with Carisha. So listen, I went to my hometown of Jersey to get another dope rapper sitting with me today. Miss Chloe Banks, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm not a rapper. Artist, more of an artist, definitely an artist. Yes, 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 I'm sorry, forgive me. So first of all, um, you're from the north side of Jersey. I'm from South Jersey. I want to start with your background. Tell us about growing up at home. Um... It's like I was like um, animated, you know. I had imaginary friends. And shit. You had imaginary friends. Who oh, didn't? And, and yep, I used to play school. I used to play church. Like yep, and my mom was right there. Mm -hmm. Me singing. I used to dress up in her clothes. Me and my sister, all that. Like. So what was what was child like? Like, do you have brothers and sisters or? I do. I mean, I do. What part of Jersey? Um. What city you repping? I'm always going to rap the Ville. I got a song. I'm from the Ville. Mm, okay, so what was your biggest memory, like, in your childhood growing up there? My biggest memory? Mm -hmm. You have a lot of personality. Uh, how do I have to say? Uh, when I was a kid, mm -hmm. smoking and stuff. And what for real? And one time, I I don't know. I just was when I got caught. I guess it's so weird. Like I don't know, but like the first time I smoked, I was just laughing for like five hours. Oh, you had the giggles? No, no cap. That was me too. How old was you when you like, first I can't smoked? Believe it, fourteen. Oh wow, you were younger than me. Like I was laughing for like mad long. What? Or I was like seventeen, and I had got the giggles so bad, and I I started I rolling around it. the floor in my kitchen. It's not like that now. Nobody says that. Yeah, I don't know what they put in the, the, the ganja these days. But back in the day, when you did first start, you definitely got the giggles. Definitely, definitely. Like, I want that weed. <laughs> so talk to us about how you found music. Like, how did that come about? Well, like I said, church. Um, I just always sung, always mimicked somebody like Christina Aguilar mm -hmm. or Monica and Mary J. Blige, stuff like that. But I got serious with it, like... Well, my mom, we tried something when I was younger, but you know people was playing. Mm -hmm. Then um, I got serious myself and started paying when I was, like, 26. Okay. What what set the bar to make you go get serious? Like, okay, this is what I really want to do. When people started, like, really supporting me and asking me, like, let me be a manager and stuff like that. Oh, really? In your hometown? Not even it. Okay, so you've been doing big things. They reaching out to work with you and stuff like that? So, do you feel like you get support from back in Jersey? Because I, so, I, and I have a story, because I know Jersey, breaking in Jersey is hard. Let's just be, put it out there, especially with North Jersey. You got to battle with New York. Then if you live close to the South Jersey, you basically battling with the Philadelphia rappers. So, being an artist and breaking in Jersey is always challenging. So, do you feel like you get the support from the city for you, your music? Um, not really. No? Yeah, but I don't look for it either. Okay. Because I don't be like... I do be like, I'm not going to say I don't be begging for people to support me because I do, but it's a, a way that I do it. But people that should, mm -hmm. I don't. So, What about the genre? Like, How how do you classify your genre of music? Um, I feel like, I don't know, I'm too thorough to even, like, it's to classify it. I just do it all, I feel. Mm -hmm. I just do me. Who's your musical influences? NDRA, Monica, oh, I like Christina that. Aguilar, Maya. Lauren Hill. Mm -hmm. What's the biggest challenges with going into the music industry? Nowadays, um, I mean, they got songs about a mop, so. No, 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 like, what's your, what's your biggest challenges? Uh -oh. Like oh, with, my biggest challenge? Yeah, with going into the music industry, working in the music industry. I guess just trying to get people to uh, fuck with me, like, because it's a lot of shit you up against. That's really bullshit. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what's going on. Yeah. I'm ready to make a song about a mom. Because they got a song about a mom. It seemed like you so could like, go viral for like anything these days. That's what I'm saying. So it was like. So you about to make a song about a mom? I mean, why not? They already got a song about a mom. Okay, so how you going to do it different? Because I mop from a chair. So ah! About, I love it. I love it. I love it. Like, I'm cracking up. So what do you try to avoid with your career? Like, what's, what's some things that you just know, like, I'm not... Go, I'm not going that way. Um, I try to like really read people, but it'd be so hard because mm. people so like people are real life actors. Um, that's 
people are real life actors. I felt that way. I feel like they like believe it themselves, but they know when they go home. They, it's just horrible. But yeah, I just try to. I, I'm trying and I'm learning to like not fuck with people just because they say they fuck with me and they want to do this and they want to do that. Mm. Because people just be. I don't know. It's weird. You mean people like like fans or like people that want to? No, I mean like in a, in a, in a, in a business like because mm. people. I feel like because I'm up and coming, you know what I'm saying? People pry off that so they know I'm hungry. So they, 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 yeah, they do bullshit. Mm. But has something happened in the industry so far where somebody came through and didn't deliver, didn't say what they was going to do, like any situations? I mean, I did a song with somebody and we were supposed to do a photo shoot. That didn't happen. But, you know, we did do a video or whatever, but we didn't do a photo shoot. And then I feel like their manager, they like, Gave, they said something about a package deal, so I gave them what they asked for, but right. the package deal was, like, all the same. Like, all the links was the same, the same picture, everything. So I felt like that was, like, dumb. Like, I just paid mad bread for my fans to click on the link, and it all got the same picture in words. Wait, so you pay for a, you pay for a feature? I already paid. We already did the song. Okay. We did the video. Right. We never did the photo shoot, but I also gave them some more bread to do, like, a... a like you know, he he took my picture and it was like 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 uh, blogs. I was oh, okay. on a blog. Okay, okay, you were supposed to do blogs, and he didn't. He, he did. did it, but they always the same picture. Oh lord, and the did. same words. So, so I'm he like, used why the same I... story for each. So I'm like, why would I even promote this when they just read that on the last one? Right, like, it's not making sense. Right. So a lawyer wound up telling me like they all backlinks, and I'm like, what? Like that's fucked up. Yeah. So have you thought about maybe reaching out to like it looks like you need PR or I don't I wouldn't say a manager right to chat, but it looks like you need a, a publicist or a PR because I feel like artists, you know, sometimes y'all get stressed out about the reason. <laughs> y'all get stressed out about which I wanna do. And I feel like if you had a publicist, they that's their job to put you on blogs, put you in the right the right rooms and get your name out there. I feel like you just said I need a Carisha. Oh, I mean, that is what I do. We we can talk. We're gonna talk about it. We gonna because baby, that wouldn't happen with me. Like, what did you did you reach out to them for a refund or no? I'm sorry, mm-hmm. but at least you kept going because a lot of times when artists lose money, they get discouraged and some of them actually give up. But you still going despite the obstacles. So I feel like you on the right path. Yeah. So I want to touch briefly on. You were in an accident, and for those who are listening who may not know you are in a wheelchair, can we talk about that a little bit, about what happened? I mean, I got shot nine times. So, How long, how long ago was that? Do you want to talk about it or you don't want to talk about it? I mean, a little bit. I just got shot August 27, 2018, mm-hmm. nine times. So, yeah, it was a home invasion. I'm here. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Has it? How has it been with, with balancing that and then, you know, trying to get into music industry and, and your mother, too? So you got a lot going on, but you're still doing it. We commend you. We giving you your flowers. How are you making it happen? I mean, I feel like it's kind of sad to say because I was doing my thing when I was, you know, up to. Mm-hmm. But I feel like now people be coming at me because it's like more of a story and they want me to, like, show my life and they know it'll, like, I don't know what they, they know what it'll do, but I don't even want to like, I'm not that type that's like going to do a TikTok falling out my chair and shit for some fucking views oh, no. and shit. Like yeah. I'm not doing that. Hell no. So, I don't know. You know I'm doing my own thing. Like I'm doing my own show mm-hmm. and trying to focus on that. Talk about your show. And do my own thing, what I want to do. Right. We it's said a, you it's, it's got your own world. show. The real world? The real world. The real world. I love you got away with words, girl. I like that. Or when is that airing? Is that like your concert or? Well, I already shot it, but I'm not even going to promote that one. So I just got to do it all again. Why are we doing it again? To make it better? Um, yeah, and, and different people. Oh, of a new team. Yeah, because I like this. I'm not promoting them. What's the synopsis of the show about? Basically, it's really, you know, about our real life. And also, we want some shit like going into establishments, telling them to get us the fuck up. Or like... If because they say it's twenty eight thousand dollars for this stem cell join, why do we have to give you all that in one walk? Hmm. Like why we can't like break it down down all the way? Oh, 
<laughs> we love to see it. We love. Oh, we got an acapella. But I'm just saying, like, why they can't break it down? Maybe find another find another way in to get this. The, um... That's why we coming like Denzel. Oh, from what? When it's Sunday to the heart. That's who I need my will ones. That's how we come in. From John Q, that is one of the most iconic movies of all time. The things we do for our children. Well, I ain't even got no children, but I got a dog. And I'll go hard for my little pit bull. I'm just saying. If she needed some surgery or something, I'm definitely going to be out here knocking and bucking for my Sasha. I put that on everything, baby. Yeah, so I get it. Not Sasha. <laughs> Sasha, yeah. You gotta, look, y'all know I'm in the beehive. Well, you thought my dog wasn't going to be called Sasha Fierce? And she is fierce. Fabulously. Sheesh. Sasha. She's gorgeous. She's all black with like dark eyes. She's just, she's okay. amazing. Yeah, okay. she's like a little rising fox. So what's next? What's good? What are you giving us? We about to go into the, the fourth quarter of 2024. So the labels are definitely looking at artists and seeing who they're going to play with. What's coming up on your um schedule? I got an EP Ooh. coming in 5-4. So keep May 4th? Going. It comes out May 4th? What's the name of the EP? I don't know yet. We didn't name it yet? Girl, 5-4 is around because the corner. Because I got two names, so I'm just like, I'm undecided. I might just give it both. It's like that. I don't know. I mean, that could, you giving it both? No, don't do that, because you're going to lose it on the platforms. You got to go at one, and then you got to brand it. What's the two names? I don't want to say. Okay, but we it's definitely coming out May 4th. Definitely. What can we expect from this body of work? That my wordplay is different, because I always feel like I held back. Okay. So I ain't hold back. Okay, moving forward, we're not holding back. So you gonna wrap up and give us a little acapella of off the EP, like give us a um a verse or something into the mic, cause uh, I hear the vocals and I know they want to hear them at home too. No, you're not gonna give us, n girl. Don't do me like that. All right. Don't do me like that. Give me something. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> Which one y'all want me to do? Um, give us. I don't know. Give us something fitting for the time. All right. <clears throat> Why are you hit the Cause they watching. They wanna know who you are. That, that's love, girl. You don't want them to see you? I turn it off. <clears throat> Go put it back on me. Put it back on me. Y'all just gonna hear it. Y'all gonna hear it. Man, you could have did it slowly. I'm sorry. Like I'm you sorry. like you like It's a lot of people watching my live right now. Like so No, I'm not I'm not trying to put you on spot. I'm just gonna turn it a little bit. That way you can hear the voice. See, it'd be like, it'd be like, it'd be like, when I be put on the side, it'd be like, I forget the word. But you an artist, though. I keep telling y'all, y'all gotta be ready. Hey, yo, she look, she still got it on me. She said, forget Listen, because, baby, what if my Rock Nation A&R was watching this right now? Or my Death Jam A&R, or both of them? Shout out to Eric and King, I'm just saying. Go on. But you can't even do that, because I'm all smiling and stuff. And it's You like, look beautiful. I know. And it's like, this all, like, won't even go down. <laughs> so how the That's fuck the vibes. The vibes we do here. How am I supposed to sing uh, like I'm that? I'm going to turn it I'm going to put the camera back on me. Like, they can hear. Though. They can, uh, period. They can hear. They can hear. Be for real, though. How am I supposed to? I got to lie. it. <laughs> like, all right. <clears throat> Kavisha. Chloe. <gasps> I didn't know you were so shy. Girl, you from Jersey. Stop playing. You from North Jersey or of that. Don't play. Kavisha. Chloe. I was just singing. <gasps> you see how I was just singing, minding my business, and I could do it? Yeah. And now you saying it. It's like Okay, give us like, just give us a few seconds. You don't have to give us like a, a Grammy winning performance. Nobody, baby. I love it. You got pipes. You were singing at church too? Did yeah. you start out singing in the church? Yeah. That's where it came from. Are you still, do you still go to church these days or you, you lost your way? I ain't lose my way. I just don't got, I'm, I just, the van don't come get it. <laughs> the van don't come get it. I ain't lose my way. I need you to go back to the church and sing for them. Sing for the why Lord. Why the van to pick us up? Why the van not picking y'all? Why the, why the van not picking y'all up? Making TikToks, I bet you if you had money for that offering plate, that van would be there like clockwork if you said you had your money ready. I, and that's why I'm not saying it, because they should just come. Uh, yeah, that part. So before we wrap up, I need you to plug in your social media links. Where can they follow you at? You that won't give us a name of the EP, but where will it be available at all platforms when it drops on May 4th? Definitely, it'll be on all major platforms. Uh, Facebook, Chloe Banks, Instagram, Chloe underscore Banks underscore music, TikTok, and one Chloe Banks too, YouTube, one Chloe Banks too. I got a website, www.therealchloebanks.com. 
make sure you check me out and just remember that it's motherfucking Chloe Banks or no thanks disrespectfully because I'm tired of being fucking nice. I'm tired of telling y'all, play my music. That's it. It's support is free. I love it. I love it. Listen, Chloe Banks from Jersey checking out here with us in Atlanta. The EP is dropping on May 4th on all platforms. Chloe Banks everywhere. You know where to follow her at. Tap in. Follow me everywhere at Carisha Diva. And for all my listeners in all major cities who's streaming Lava Carisha on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, and American New Network. And shout out to my fans in Indonesia for making us number six in podcasts in Indonesia. Stay fabulous. Stay blessed. Peace.